what is up everybody welcome back to the channel god bless every single freaking one of you guys man um shout out to every single subscriber shout out to every single one watching this video um shout out to every single one of you guys going through some shit whether it's financially whether it's with your health there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now um and as as entrepreneurs man as leaders of this nation and of this country and of this world and and as playing your part and trying to contribute as any good you know citizen you know would want to do you know especially if you're an entrepreneur if you're an entrepreneur you know our economy whatever country you're in your economy depends on that entrepreneurship like that entrepreneurship spirit people buying and selling the 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 buying and selling of products and services is what moves this world bottom line man so shout out to every single one of you i know there's a ton of people looking for for extra streams of streams of income i know there's a ton of people online you know searching more than they've ever ever, ever searched before the internet has never had this type of traffic um in in just by the billions because of what's going on globally and everyone's glued to their phone Right. And and so as as shit has hit the fan, man, depending on where you're at, shout out to every single one of you guys, man. Um, I truly, you know, keep you guys in my prayers and 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 whatever you're doing, I'm telling you, man, whatever, you gotta look at the bright side. You gotta look at the positives. You gotta read the correct information. You cannot stay in the negative zone of consuming negative information all day, even though it's still important. Of, of course, you gotta stay top, you know, you got to stay up with current events, but at the same time, you cannot consume yourself in that information at all. Like at all. If you're trying to pursue, you know, shit, anything in life, I don't give a damn what it is going to school. You're focused on them books. You're focused on reading. You're focused on, on, on studying and, and making sure that you crush the shit out of that. Right. You're focused on, on, on family or you're focused on your business or you're focused on a new career whatever it may be, dude, it takes 1000% focus. And I'm telling you, as, as much information is going on, you know, in, in the world today and, 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 and people getting sick and all this random shit happening, right? I'm telling you, man, it will kill you. It will kill you by the mindset. And, and, and if you fall into it and, and just, and just stay as far as consuming the information, I'm telling you, man, you'll, kill yourself and you don't want to do that dude you don't want to do that you want to stay positive you want to stay focused and and that's what i've been doing man that's what i've been trying to do on this youtube channel for well i'm gonna i'm gonna literally break down the real numbers this is an exciting exciting time and i'm telling you for those of you that are hurting financially i mentioned on a on a few other videos you have to start putting content out and you have to start putting content content out on youtube like I'm telling you, man. I started. I started picking up on this not too long ago, depending on when you're watching this video. But it, you know, just let's just call it 2019. It wasn't until like maybe the middle of 2019 when I'm like, dang, okay, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I'm learning from a few people. Um, I'm 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 investing in investing in little little YouTube courses. You know, I'll follow a few mentors, digital marketers, social media marketers. I'll follow a few different people and 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 hack them and 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 learn from them right whether they're selling a book whether they're selling a training course um depend on who it is man and depend on the information i'm always looking to invest and and so that's what i started doing is investing more in 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 learning facebook ads investing more in learning youtube and and what it takes to put together a simple channel and 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 to to deliver content on it i started learning this stuff like more in 2019 i started my agency in 2016 that's when I started getting clients. And it was in 2017 when I started talking about it on YouTube. It's exactly what happened, man. I started getting clients, social media marketing clients in 2016, end of 2016 into 2017. That's when I really started getting more clients focused on one niche, providing social media marketing services and Facebook advertising and, 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 and have gotten hundreds of clients through the direct message, through the DM hitting people up on social media, offering marketing services and, and really bringing value. And I truly believe that was all done for you, right? That was all me providing services, consulting clients, right? Agency, right? But I knew I can only talk to so many people at, 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 at any given time. Like I can only talk to so many people in a given day. So that's when in 2019, I started figuring out how to scale it and how to turn 
my knowledge into a digital asset and turn it into information online where I can, you know, put together some video courses and some video trainings and package, package it all up and sell it. And so that's what I'm scaling now in 2020 is teaching that same niche, um, my services. And, and so instead of fishing for them, I'm teaching them how to fish for themselves. And so that is where my, my, you know, what I'm focused on in 2020. But my point is, is that as I started building that agency and, and then even dipping into, into Shopify and, and, and seeing what that whole print on demand was all about, and then even dipping into affiliate marketing and starting to follow the Russell Brunson's and the freaking ClickBank, you know, you know, gurus and, and these people that were making money with affiliate marketing. That's what I really started picking up in, in 2017, 2018, because now I'm starting to learn Facebook ads. Now I'm starting to close clients and I'm like, dang, dude, I'm getting good at this. I reached them through a DM. I got on, on zoom with them and I transacted some income, right? Like I got their credit card, like I processed and I made a transaction. And, and as I started getting good at that client services and getting, you know, people to get on the phone with me and then eventually close them, I'm like, dang, dude, again, I, I can only do so many in a, in a day. Um, there's only so much time in a day. I got a message. I got to, I got to, I got to schedule presentations. I got to, I got to present, I got to service the client. I got to do a lot. And it was all, it was only me, right? It's not like I, you know, had employees. That is what I started talking about, dude. All that stuff, you guys, is what I started talking about on this channel. Very amateur, very freaking non production whatsoever like i don't even know how to edit still like i i i, I mean i just keep keeping it simple and, and in 2017 it was a lot on my cell phone so so i'm saying like i'm gonna show you these real numbers if you look at my videos this was the first one that i put out which was june 2018 look at that dude 56 views it was a, it was an interview of my son interviewing my mom it wasn't until July of 2017 when I started talking about stuff. So July 2017, started doing this video right here, 306, 847. I'm not even knowing about ads. I'm not even knowing about being a YouTuber. I'm not even knowing about freaking an extra stream of income. I'm not even caring about any of that. All I was doing was starting an agency starting to learn how to run Facebook ads, starting to, to learn how to, how to close clients and direct message them on social media and, and all that, right? Like I started learning that in, 20, in, in 2017, right? In 2017. And then I started putting up little short videos talking about it, man, talking about it. Little short videos on my cell phone, dude. All these are on my ghetto ass old Android and I'm just in my office. This is when I had a, an office here in San Diego, just me um, building my agency out of this little office here in San Diego, nothing big at all, but it, but it, was, it, it wasn't my house, right? It was an office where I had to, you know, go five miles, but it was a, it was a cool little spot. And, 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 and that's where I started my agency in 2017. And then, so, so you can come back, dude. And then I'm just doing random videos on my cell phone, you know, outside talking about online entrepreneurship. So since day one, although the professionalism, the editing, the thumbnails, the freaking, um, the description, keywords, all that stuff that actually matters, I wasn't doing any of that in 2017. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to show you what makes it freaking interesting because I do know what is happening to my bank account and I'm getting deposits every month. So you're going to want to see those numbers. I mean, so what I'm doing here, I'm telling you guys, this, this is what every single one of you need to be doing. In times like this where shit hits the fan and millions of people lose their job, it's like, dude, millions of people, hundreds of millions of people have now spent more time on their cell phone. You got these little kids, you got this next generation, millennial, freaking co-millennial, whatever the hell you want to keep labeling these damn generations, right? It's all the same. But th these are all different generations growing up with different tools and, and, and consuming information in different ways. And this is it. This is it. Like, like this thing has, has, has been around for 20 plus years, but it is finally, finally at super scale. And everyone and their mother stays glued to their cell phone. 
from the age of freaking damn near five to the age of 95. Like people are, are glued to their cell phones. They're glued to their iPads. They're glued to their computers and we're consuming information faster ever in the history of this world. And when things hit the fan and people lose their income, I'm telling you right now, my income on this has been increasing has been increasing. So, so I, and, and I, I it's, it, I'm telling you, man, this is real deal stuff. I told this to my son a couple of days ago. I'm like, my son's 12. I said, dude, there's two types of people. Person number one is going to be glued to their phone and consuming information for the rest of their life. All day, every day, they're going to grow up like that. They're going to live like that. That's all they're going to do is stare at their cell phone all freaking day. That's person number one. Person number two, there's only two types of people, man, no matter how you want to break this down. Person number two is the person providing the content. So, so person number two is the person providing the content for these hundreds of millions, for these billions of people to be consuming. Someone has to provide the content. What are they consuming? A blank screen? Yeah, right, dude. We're reading information. We're on social media reading information all damn day, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, whatever. Any platform, that's where the attention is at. So it's not just online. Yes, the attention is online. The, the, I, mean, I mean, when I came across the internet in 1999 into the year 2000, when we first started on dial-up, right? How many of you from the old school? Comment below if you're from the old school. Dial-up internet where there was no cell phones. There were no iPads. It was a computer and, 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 and very few ha even had a laptop. It was freaking desktop computer. That's how we started, right? Late 90s, early 2000s, desktop computer where we had to plug a freaking cord from the computer to a damn telephone line inside your house, your home line. No one had a cell phone. Everyone had a home phone. And you had one of them. The entire house shared it, right? Crazy times, dude. And, and to see where we're at today, it's freaking mind blowing. But the second person is the content creator. What do you think I'm over here doing? I'm over here on YouTube providing content. I'm not person number one who just lives on my phone all day consuming it. I don't just do that, right? I'm consuming information like that as well, but it's not all day at all. I'm not like at all at all because, because my time is spent providing the content. So I, you got to put, you got to put time to create it, right? This shit ain't, this, this, this ain't, I mean, shit, this takes time, right? So you're the, you're either the content creator or you're the consumer of the content. Okay. And so all I started doing, man, in 2017 is providing content and putting up basic little random stuff, talking about the same stuff. Okay. You don't, I mean, there, there, there's channels where you, where there are vlogs, right? And, there, and there's just random stuff all over, but you got to be crazy. Your personality has to be through the roof and your antics and your schemes and your, and, 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 and your video and, and, and your content and what you're creating has to be off the wall. Like that's why these younger YouTubers, like the Jake Pauls, the freaking um, his brother, like that's why the, the 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 other guy David freaking whatever the hell his name is, millions of subscribers, right? Even these YouTubers, these gamers, it's like dang dude, like. But again, the gamer one topic. These other influencers that blew up within the last five years, six seven years, they've been on YouTube for maybe eight nine years, but they're still only eighteen, right? They've been putting up content since they were ten, right? like the Jake Pauls, like these guys, man, have been producing content for years. And, and, and when you put things in hindsight, what ends up happening is this content, because of YouTube, that's what I'm saying, man, if you're going to put out content, if you're an entrepreneur, chances are you are. If you're an entrepreneur, you better be. Like you need to be putting out content regardless. All I'm saying is that in 2017, I started putting it here. I started putting it here because this content, these videos, like nothing fancy about them all on my cell phone. Look, dude, all on my cell phone. Um, and, 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 and I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about one topic, online entrepreneurship. I'm documenting my journey. I'm documenting my life. I'm documenting my business, not my life. I was documenting my business. 
and, and I was talking about clients and how I got my last client and how I closed a hundred clients. And I have so many videos on these, you guys. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like subscribe and go look at my playlist and hit the bell for notifications and, and drop me a comment, you know, let me know you're, you're active, you know, but this is where it all started, man. Like this is nothing like this is so freaking nothing. Some of you guys got the dopest iPhones. And again, all you're doing is consuming information. I'm telling my son, I'm like, dude, you're going to either be person number one and you're going to stick to that phone and you're going to consume information all day and do absolutely nothing with it. Or you're going to be person number two who actually provides the content for the consumers to consume, right? And I'm telling you guys right now, man, this right here is where you want to put it. You want to put it on YouTube. You don't have to be crazy professional like you don't have to know about editing and music background and lighting and all this stuff i'm gonna keep it real man i'm still on some you know ghetto ass lamp like it, it, it's 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 whatever but all i'm saying is that this income once i show you the income it's not a big amount of income just yet but i'm telling you man from a from a business standpoint from a number standpoint from the understanding of compression and the understanding of geometric progression i should say from the understanding of, of of leverage from the understanding of 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 residual income and passive income i'm telling you this is powerful like this is super powerful um there's not too many ways that a person can make passive income real estate has been king kong forever and we all know where that's at today in march 2020 real estate is not hot like at all. Nothing's hot. The whole entire damn freaking world is shut down in March of 2020 right now. So passive income, income that can, that, that can keep coming in regardless of what the hell's happening. There's not too many of those types of incomes, man, at all. And I'm telling you, YouTube is one of them. YouTube is one of them. Rather than me putting a bunch of content everywhere, like most people would do, like Gary vee has been preaching, you know, 50 million times a day on, you know, that's what you want to be posting if you're a Gary Vee, right? 50 million times a day. That's what he preaches, right? I truly believe it should be 50 million times on YouTube. Like, let's, let's narrow it in. Because every single Tom, Dick, and Harry, I don't care who you are, even the top corporate executives lost their income right now. Like, if you were truly on a job, like, if you're, if you're anywhere in this country right now and you dependent on a, on a W-2, you de you've been dependent on an hourly wage job, chances are your income is on hold right now, right? And, and that's, that's a scary, that's a, that's the scariest thing, dude, ever. And so with this, all I want to show you guys and, and, and give you guys is some basic hope, like basic understanding where it's like, damn, dude, a few extra hundred a month. Yeah, it's, it's not freaking a hundred G's a month, but shit. A few extra, and, and, and even before it's even at a few thousand, even just at a few hundred a month changes most people's lives. I know for a fact that just a few hundred a month for most Americans, for 90 plus percent of Americans, a few extra hundred a month in disposable income coming into, an, coming into a household would change 90 plus percent of Americans' life. And that's America. So when you look at these other countries, shout out to my boy, my boy Naveed, out there in, in India. I think he's in India. Actually, where are you at, Naveed? Comment below, man. Let me know where you're at. Let everybody else know where you're at. Comment below if you're watching. But shout out to him. It's like, dang, dude, like, like an extra, like, put it this way, Naveed, here's what I want you to comment below. 500 USD, if, if, if a family, an average family had an extra $500 USD that came in every single 30 days, what would that lifestyle or what would that family, what would, what would that be like? Like, is that a lot of money? I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking, I know it's a lot of money in other countries, Philippines for sure. Like an extra 500 a month to a person who lives in the Philippines would literally have them living like King Kong, like the King, like the queen. Right. So, so, so it doesn't take much, dude, to change a person's life financially. It doesn't take much. Like, and so that's why you have to appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate YouTube. Like, I seriously freaking appreciate them because, again, as nine out of 10 of you guys are putting content out, you're posting on Twitter and thinking you're promoting your business. You're putting a post on your Facebook business page where you have 300 likes. And you put a post about your business on your personal page when you have 3,100 friends and 99% of them live across the country. So if you're a local business owner and you're posting this way, 
99% of your followers on your organic platforms don't even live in your area. Unless, unless you're a huge popular business and maybe you have, let's say your personal Facebook page alone, let's say you have 5,000 friends and 4,000 of them live in your local area because you happen to be the local taco shop and you're an owner and you've been owning it for the past 37 years. It's been in your family and you have thousands of people that follow you in your local area or you're the mayor of your local area and you have a Facebook page, personal page, and you have a few thousand people in your local city that, that are your friends on Facebook because you're the mayor. If you're not anywhere near that, you guys, and you're just an average freaking Joe like myself, 99% of these people that follow us on social media live across the country. So if you're a local business owner, it's like, dang, dude, you're screwed. So, so in my case, when, I'm built, when I was building, when I started my agency in 2016, one huge reason why I did is so I can, so I can go after a client anywhere. Like, I don't want to be restricted to just my local area. Like, I don't want to just have to rely on a customer in my local area. How crazy would I be? The internet is here. Like, I, I, I just want to be online talking to anyone at any time in the world. Like, why does it have to be just my local area, right? That's a local business for you. And so I know a lot of you guys are either servicing local businesses or you're a local business owner yourself. But, but, but here's, here's what I'm trying to say, man, is that whatever content you're putting out, you're putting it out anyways right? You're an entrepreneur. You're trying to promote your brand and business anyways, and it's on social media. So as, as, it, as the whole internet thing got huge 20 years ago, today, it's, it's, it's now the attention is all narrowed in to social media. So it's like, that's why it's been so lucrative to provide social media marketing, advertising services, because most businesses, 99% of them, 100% of them, need it. And that's why it's been so lucrative on that agency side for the past couple of years. Right. But then as, as, as I experienced, I'm like, dang, dude, I don't, I, I can't take on as many clients as I wish I could. I can't help the world if I, if I rely on done for you services. And that's when the course, you know, thing, you know, came, 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 came around. But what I've been doing, you guys, this is all just simply documenting all of that. So I took you on that long ass story journey to bring it to right here where it's like, that's all I've been talking about. So nothing fancy at all. And when I started in 2017, I had no idea about being consistent. Again, I wasn't trying to build a YouTube channel. All I was doing was simply parking. And here's, here's, let me, with all that being said, let me, let me back it up by even saying this. When I started this, it was that, that really wasn't even my attention posted here because eventually I'll get paid for it. And if I post it anywhere else, I'm not getting paid for it. Right. And especially if I'm a local business owner, they all live across the country anyways. So it's like, if I'm going to be talking about a topic, if I'm going to be talking about a subject, I might as well put it here also. So if I'm a local business owner, I'm running an ad. If I'm a local business owner, I'm running an ad to my local area, but I'm also taking that same content that I was going to put on Instagram. I'm also going to put it on YouTube. And I'm going to turn it into long form because I'm a business owner and I want to educate my people. I want to educate my audience. I want to educate my clients. I want to let people know what the hell I do. I want to talk about it. I'm fired up about it, right? So that's why I'm like, dude, okay, let me turn it into long form. But I didn't start thinking that until 2019. I didn't start knowing that until 2019. In 2017, when this all started, short video, I didn't know what I was doing, man, at all. I was only parking it here, not for the long-term thinking of it, not for the long-term planning of an income. No, I didn't even know about any of that, dude. I was simply just posting it here because I guess I, I, I liked video, and at the same time, it was video. And I was just simply looking at YouTube as another platform to post my video. Like, like it was, and it was easy. Like, it, like I could have posted on Facebook for sure. The same video could have went on Facebook. But, but then again, what I'm saying is that now when I look at everything and I know that I'm seeing an income from it now, I'm like, dang, dude, thank God I, I, I just took my time and energy and put it here versus on a Facebook. Because if that video was on Facebook and that was in 2017, none of you guys would see it. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like YouTube gives us the ability to, for that video to always be seen, but also be monetized. So, so again, man, now that I look at everything, I'm like, dang, dude, I should have started doing this in 2017. I should have took it seriously. I should have really knew what I was doing. I should have really looked at it from a long-term financial play as well. 
because let's keep it real. That's super important. You got to freaking, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to play chess with this all and, 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 and try to set yourself up. Right. Especially, you know, in your business. And so damn dude, if I knew today, what I, what I, what I, what, what I, if, if I knew today, if I knew back in 2017, what I know today, okay. When I first started this channel, I would have grew probably not crazy, crazy much more, but I would have probably grew. Let's just, let's just call it double. Let's just call it double. I would, I would, I would, I would have double X my, my growth. I truly believe like where I'm at right now, I'm going to show you my numbers where it's at right now. I truly believe it would have been double had I, had I, and, and double is a big deal, man. Double is a big deal. Double is a big deal. I'll show you the numbers right now. But had I known all that, then, then, then I would have for sure. But I'm telling you, man, I, I, I tell you all this to tell you this is the fact that if I did this, man, this way, like nothing fancy at all, you guys can crush it. Like you guys can for sure crush it. So this first video, man, that's when it went up June 18. Okay. So I'm going to show you some numbers. That was the first video that went up. Now here's what I put in for custom. Let me, um, yeah, this is what I put in for custom 20, 20, June 18, 2017. Okay. So that was the first one to January. So all that is, is that six month period. At the end of six months, I had 41 subscribers, dude. I had 41 subscribers. Absolutely horrible, right? First six months going in, going into 2018. Now let's look at from 2018. From 2018, from January 2018 to January 2019, I had 545 subscribers. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Shout out to every single one of you. If you are one of that 545, if you've been following me since 2018, shout out to every single one of you. I swear to God, you guys are in my, in my prayers, man. I'm not joking. Shout out to every single one of you. But look at these low numbers, dude. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, who the heck would even do this? And again, I'm telling you, at that time, I wasn't even thinking of income. I was not even thinking of a, being a YouTuber. Hell no. Like, I, I wasn't even, I don't even know what that is, dude. Like, I, I was only putting it up here because I was simply talking about what I was doing in the day of the life of my business. Like I was building a business. I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. It's what I do. And, and, but I've been building an agency since 2016. And in 2017, I started talking about it. That was it, man. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, but, but, but I'm saying, look, dude, in 2018, I just started seeing it increase. And I'm like, damn, dude, from one subscriber to 10 subscribers to 30 subscribers. And, and again, I wasn't thinking income. I wasn't thinking any of that, dude. I was just thinking, I'm like, shit. Okay, cool. That's cool. Again, Instagram, same thing. If I would have posted it on Instagram, I would have, these people would have just been followers, right? If I would have put that on Twitter, those people, 545, I would have 545, you know, Twitter followers. If that was on Facebook, you know, it's like, dang, dude, like, it'd be my, my same friends on Facebook. Right. So I started looking at this as, as that too, man. And I, and, and then I started looking at it where it's like, damn dude, because it's video and because I'm actually talking about something, people are interested and I'm starting to think about this and I'm like, damn dude, that's pretty cool. So in 2018, I started doing a little bit more. I started putting up a little bit more videos. Um, um, and, and, and just my subscribers started growing a, a little bit more again, man, this is not killing it. This is not killing it at all. And, and, and so even, even knowing that, Hey dude, I should have for sure stepped it up because now that I see this income, it would have been double. I'm not even tripping on that, but that is the reality. But at the same time, it's like, it's like, I just truly know that you guys, I just truly know you guys, you guys can grow faster, man. You guys could grow way, way faster, you know, talking about what you're fired up about talking about your business. If you're, if you're a local business owner, you should be running Facebook and Instagram ads to capture local leads bottom line. But the overall general topic of your, of your niche, of your industry, of your business, talk about that on YouTube. That's what YouTube's for. All right. Start, start educating the audience from a national and from a global, even if you're only a local business owner, start talking about the topic. And again, do, do it if it fires you up. If that doesn't fire you up, because there's plenty of business owners that are not fired up about their business. I know tons of business owners that actually hate their business. So it's not all freaking bright and dandy, right? Not at all. But, but if you're fired up about it, talk about it here. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. Even if I knew that there was an income down the line, who in their right mind would continue to do this? Like, look, dude, I started in 2017. 
I, I started doing it in 2017. So if I was doing it for just the money and that's all I was thinking of, which I wasn't, and I had no idea about it, about the money. Like I'm serious, man. I wasn't following YouTubers that were making YouTube income. No, dude, I was following Russell Brunson and learning affiliate marketing and following freaking Ty Lopez and following freaking Sam Ovens, learning how to get clients. That's what I was learning. So I wasn't following YouTubers making money on this shit, dude, at all. And, and, and so I'm say, all I'm saying is that in, in this year, look, 2017, June to January, 41 subscribers, dude. And then, and, then, and then Jan 1, 18 to Jan 1, 19, I had 545. At the end of 2019, who in their right mind would keep going, right? That's, that's the question I, I kind of always ask myself. I'm like, dang, dude, if I was really doing it for just the money and I was already a year and a half in, and I only had 545 subscribers and I haven't seen one dime. At that point, I have not seen one dime. So if I was doing it for the money and all I was doing was thinking of money, I would have been like, screw this. This shit is a waste of time. I might as well go work at McDonald's, right? If I was doing it for, for a full-time income or if I was doing it for the money. And that's what I'm saying. Turn your passion, turn whatever the heck you're excited about. Turn that into a YouTube channel. I'm telling you, man, that's what it is. Don't look at this as work. It ain't work. But I'm telling you, the income, it can damn near surpass someone's full-time work. And that's, that's, that's real, man. And, 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 and surpass it on such a small level, dude, such a small level. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, man. That year, 2019, 545. Now, look. From Jan 1, 2019 to Jan 1, 2020, and right now we're in March of 2020, 884. So look at that, dude, 884, 884. Now, you need 1,000 subscribers, you need 1,000 subscribers, and you need 4,000 watch hours in a 12-month period to qualify to start making an income on YouTube, which at this point, at 884, I didn't even know I was there. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to that really, dude. I wasn't, dude. I, I wasn't at all. And then I found out, okay, you need a thousand subscribers. And, and, and then, so look, dude, because some would subscribe, some would unsubscribe. So at the, so, so at the end, I, I, I know I for sure hit a thousand. I hit a thousand subscribers like in, I think like in, like in September. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like in, like in, like in August, September of 2019. And I know that for a fact because I got my first YouTube check in October of 2019, which I'm going to show you. So I had to have had my 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours um, for sure. But by January 1, I had already lost over 100. Over 100 subscribers had already freaking, you know, dipped, unsubscribed or whatever. And that's cool. That's going to happen. You don't need everyone to like you at all. Some of you guys ain't going to give a shit about me. Some of you guys ain't even subscribed and you ain't going to subscribe. It's all good, dude. You only need a piece of the market. You don't need everyone and their mother to like you at all, dude. I'm telling you, this income can flow by just a few of people following you. Like it's not, they're not, it's not rocket science at all. It, it, it's taking your passion, it's taking what you're fired up about and simply parking it here for future value and future content. And, and, and at the same time, giving, giving you the ability to actually make an income from it. Like, that's crazy. And so that's passive, that's residual, and that's why it's crazy. But look, dude, so from 2020, so let's look January 1. Let's go January 1. Let's recustomize this. And we'll go January 1, 20 to, we'll go 331, which is today. So 331, 20. Okay. Enter 30, 330 or earlier. Okay. So let's go, let's go 29. Okay. So let's click apply. And so look, this is showing me at, So this right here is today. So let me show you this one. This right here. So in that period, this is the number right here. Let me refresh this. So look, man, 
those first few years, you guys, was was nothing, right? So now today, dude, shout out to every single one of you, dude. 1927, shout out to every single one of you. And look, dude, that's not even a big number. Like you guys are following YouTubers that have 10,000 plus. You guys are following YouTubers that have 100, 200, 300,000 followers. My 12-year-old son follows YouTubers that literally have three, four, five million subscribers talking about one topic fired up about a freaking game right and and simply screen sharing and documenting their activity that's it dude like that's what i'm saying like you can either create or document one thing i got from gary v i've gotten many things off of him but gary v for sure the biggest one of the biggest things is his whole famous one-liner on it's better to document than create don't think you got to create stuff. Who the hell's creative? I ain't, a, I ain't creative. Like, I, I, what am I, an artist? Like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm a freaking normal person. Like, I'm not creative. And, and, and so what most people have a problem with and the reason why most people freaking bang their head against the wall and, and never put out content is because they feel it has to be perfect. They have to create. They feel they have to create something in order for the audience to freaking like it. That cannot be more further than the truth than anything else like that right there is a myth that right there is your own personal insecurity that right there is your own personal fear or or or, or just shyness of the camera whether it's pictures whether it's video whether it's word you want to still freaking be in in, in 1995 and write blogs okay cool write a blog but at the same time it's like dude video content i'm telling you Start documenting what you're doing. It's simple. I like start documenting. Does, does it take time? Yes, dude. Does it all this shit in the background? You know, having to upload the video, having to put a thumbnail, having to put the tags and the description and the keywords and do the research on all that. Does that take time? Yeah. But it's like, dude, so does working at freaking Burger King. You know, so does working at freaking a donut shop. So does working at Starbucks. All that takes time too. Like, it's like, dude, I'm telling you, man, this is not a, a, a crazy amount of extra time that, that it would take for you to, to really be successful. Like that's what I'm saying back to what I mentioned earlier. If you're putting out content already, you need to park it here. That's all I'm saying, man. So at 1927, here's what has been happening. And I have videos on this in my YouTube uh, playlist. So check the playlist, subscribe if you haven't already, man. And, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. But here's, some simple, simple math. Here are the numbers, you guys. Here are the numbers. And I'm going to go, I, I, I'm telling you, I have videos on this, so I'm not trying to be a baller here at all. This is basic reality. This is, I'm, I'm bringing us down, back down to planet Earth, and, 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 and we're going to talk basic, basic numbers, man. And we're going to talk simple numbers that I truly am convinced on would change most people's lives. Like, especially when it was just an extra income on top of, on top of your, your other full-time hustle or whatever. But again, March 2020, millions of people have lost their daytime hustle. That's why you have to start doing something now, man, and you have to start parking it here now, start building now. Is this going to happen overnight? Hell no. It, 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 am I telling you it could happen way, way faster than I got here? Hell yeah, because I'm going to tell you how the heck I did it. Like, I didn't start catching on until 2019. It wasn't until 2019 when I started investing in those courses that I, as I mentioned in the beginning of the call. It wasn't until 2019 when I started learning little, little YouTube, you know, tricks to build a channel. Cause I'm like, dang, dude, I went from 500 subscribers to freaking, you know, 700 subscribers to 800. And I'm like, I'm starting to trip out. And I'm like, dang, dude. And then, and then here's what happened. Let's go lifetime. And then in 2019, October, October of 2019, I get this check, okay? It was actually a little bit more. It was actually 291. I have a video on it, so go back. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll tie it to the end. Stay to the end of this video, and you'll see that one pop up at the bottom. That one was me making a video on my first YouTube. I got this. It was a 248, and, and, and I think it was like, like it came out to 291. That's what happened in August, no, in September and October. You have to hit a hundred dollar minimum threshold in order for that money to be paid out. In September, it was like forty something bucks. It was like it was like forty forty something bucks. Um, 
50 something bucks in, 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 in September of 2019. I didn't even know about it. YouTube did not email me about it. I didn't get a deposit in my bank account about it because I didn't hit the $100 threshold. It was below 100. But in October, I hit 248. And I'm not even paying attention to this, you guys. I'm not even knowing. I'm not even freaking, not even, not even caring. Like I, I'm not even expecting a deposit. But what happened in October was paid out in November. So that's what I'm going to tie to the end of this one. You'll see that November video. That was my first deposit. I got the 248. I got what happened in October and I, ha and, and I got what happened in September, okay, which was, um, let's see if this shows, shows, this should show it because it was, um, yeah, see there's September, bam. 42 bucks. So in September, the 42, and then in October, the 248. That money was paid out to me in November, and that was 248 and 42, which was 291. So the video you'll see at the end, that's my first YouTube deposit video that I'm making on a deposit for 291. It was a 42 and the 48. But then what started happening, you guys? What started happening? That 42 and 248. That 291 was paid out to me in November. What I did in November 312 was paid out in December. I'm doing another video in that YouTube playlist on the video that I, that I, or the deposit that I got in December, which was for the 312. All right. It was for what happened in November. I got that 312 in December and I was fired up. Fired up, you guys. I got it a couple days. I got it three days before Christmas of 2019. I literally took that, didn't you know, buy the most expensive diamond earrings, but I bought my wife some diamond earrings with that simple deposit right there. Christmas 2019. So call it what you want, you guys. An extra income went a long way that year. What happened the next month? It kept going up. It kept going up. In February, 494. I got that 494 in March. So just a few days ago, just a few days ago, I'm doing it. I did a video on that. Just a few days ago, I got the 494. Do you want to know what that 494 does for, for my family? That 494 is going to continue to come in. That 494 is going to continue to increase because I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep putting out content, talking about my business, and, and, and just putting out as much value to help other people that are, that are trying to build something online as well giving them as much value as I possibly can. That's what this is all about, right? And on the back end, on the back end, I'm getting deposits. That income is going to continue to grow. And you know what that does for my family currently at that low amount? Pays for a brand new car for my wife. Wife, baby daughter, my son, and another little boy on the way. That 494 is literally a car payment for my family. And so as that number increases, it's going to then be rent. It's going to be groceries. It's going to be the light bill. It's going to be the trash bill. It's going to be freaking your electricity bill. It's going to be your tuition bill. It's going to be your freaking whatever the hell you want to offset. When you start building assets, these assets are meant to produce income that flow, cash flow. Why do you think people invest in real estate? They go buy a house so they can rent it out to the neighbor and make a positive cash flow when it's all said and done. The neighbor pays them rent. They take that rent amount, charge them a little higher than what the banks charge them for the mortgage, and whatever's left over is their positive cash flow. Do you understand what I would need? Do you understand how much it would cost? Do you understand what it would take to make an extra $500 a month today in positive cash flow in real estate? in single family residential real estate in the USA. Do you know how much money you need down? Do you know what kind of credit score you need? Do you, do you know that you need tax, tax, tax documents and you need to have been a W-2 earner for the past two years straight? Do you know that your ducks need to be in a line just to go buy a, a, a property? And that's, a, that, that's, that's considered an owner-occupied property. When you go start buying investment properties, which is your third home and on, so you can consider a second home your second home. But after that, to go, go get a third one, you're not going to the traditional banks anymore. You're going to a hard money lender. 
you're going to other investors to try to get that money. Also, you can maybe fix up a house and sell it and make more, or so you can maybe invest it, invest it in real estate, rent the property out, and make some type of positive cash flow. This is the new real estate, you guys. I'm telling you. Content parked right here. This is your new apartment complex. This is your new single family resident residential homes that are your investment properties, your YouTube channel. And I'm telling you, it doesn't, it's not gonna stop here. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there and build. 50 more channels won't have my name on it won't have my face on it but it'll have my name on it my bank account on it and money is going to start flowing i'm going to go out there and create 50 more channels i'm going to keep putting content out on this one but 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 after learning more about this and the power of this passive income it's like dude i'm telling you what happened in march look 519 that 519 is going to be paid out in april and, and, and what's going to happen? All these videos, you guys, I want you to, I'm telling you, when you look at all these videos, all this is, dude, all this is, where did it go? All these videos, all these are, are many single family homes that are paying me rent. And when you have hundreds and when you have thousands of these little mini videos that, that we call AKA single family resident homes, when you have hundreds of them up and eventually thousands of them up because you didn't spend time being the consumer, you spent time being the content creator. And you happen to park it here where you had the, uh, the ability to eventually monetize it. I'm telling you, man, after, after a few months, after, 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 look, dude, here's the reality. Two years, three years, four years, all that stuff, all that's going to pass anyways. So that's what I'm telling my son. I'm like, dude, all your friends that are playing Fortnite right now, you guys are going to be playing in the next three years anyways. You might as well take that 45-minute clip that you and your boy Xander played, and you better upload it to your YouTube channel. Bottom line, like, like you, you, you better be doing that because there's two types of kids. I'm telling this to my son. Kid number one is going to keep playing Xbox for 57 hours a day for the next five years and simply be a freaking squirrel. Like you're, 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 you're literally just a freaking consumer. You're just a fly on the wall. Kid number two is going to be that same kid that played the same time, but they took that video and uploaded it to YouTube or they took that video and uploaded it to Twitch or any other platform. But I'm telling you, YouTube would pay you too. And it's simple. Upload the damn video. And, and I'm telling you guys, like, because here's, here's, I'm showing you these real numbers. Even at my small channel, man, you're telling me an extra 519 wouldn't change your life. Like, like based on my low numbers, you guys are following people that have way, way more subscribers. Like based on my low numbers, an extra 500 would change 99% of every single person watching this video it would change 99% of your lives, an extra passive income of at least 500 a month. And I'm, I'm telling you, man, these years are going to pass anyways. You're going to put out content anyways. You might as well park it here. And if you're building a business, educate your audience, educate them from, from the, from, from a general perspective, right? Your local business owner. And, and, and you're talking about, you know, freaking your local restaurant start talking about foods and, and, and ingredients get creative with it and start a youtube channel start a youtube channel and start talking about your business man because i'm telling you here's the reality it took me a couple years to make that happen right because i didn't know what the hell i was doing i was very inconsistent in 2017 putting up videos i was very inconsistent in 2018 putting up videos only because I wasn't even planning on any of this. Like I wasn't planning on an income like at all growing, like none of that, dude. I knew nothing about it, dude. I was just putting it up because I was fired up about what I was doing and it was video and I was com comfortable with it and I would put it on YouTube. And, and, and so I'm just saying what took me, let's just call it two years. You guys can for sure for sure get there, for sure get there within the next 12 months. You could surpass these numbers in the next 12 months. Like 12 months is going to pass by anyways. Yeah, is this a get rich quick and, 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 and let's get a deposit tomorrow type of income? No, dude, I'm telling you how to diversify. Like let's open up another stream of income. Like let's freaking try to save our asses for whatever the hell comes up. And, 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 and this, during this whole entire corona bullshit that's happening, right? My income, this income is going up, man. The subscriber count is going up. 
And again, because why, as I mentioned earlier, everyone and their mother is glued to their phone. And especially right now in March 2020, even more. Like, it's crazy, dude. So again, shout out to every single 1927. I know for a fact, here's the plan. So in 2019, I started getting the hang of it. Middle of 2019, into, into the end of 2019. Invested in some little courses, started learning from some mentors. And I'm like, damn, dude, I can do that. Like, I'm already talking about this stuff. Like, I'm already fired up about what I'm doing. You know, affiliate marketing, building an agency, closing clients, and just sharing with people how I'm closing them and how I'm getting them. Like, all that stuff. It, 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 like so 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 i started learning i'm like damn dude all they're doing is posting a few times a few times a week all they're doing is putting a thumbnail all they're doing is is actually keyword research and putting a, a description and, and and making sure that they're consistent with that every single week i'm like damn dude okay i'm gonna do that and it wasn't until it wasn't until the end of 2019 you guys when this when this started growing and then and then so Again, based on the numbers, based on, on, on this right here, this is 20, let's see, this was 2018 to 2019. Let's go, um, let me change this, 20, let's go 20, 2019 to January 2020. So look, dude. In January, let me show this to you one last time in closing. Um, 884. So 884, dude. 884 in January of 2020. March of 2020, 1927. And let me know if I'm even reading those numbers right, dude. And, and also, let me know, let me know, let me go back to this real quick. Let me know if this is a good CPM. So when I come over here and I look at, let's just go, let's just go March. And I come over here to the revenue. Comment below if you know about this, dude. This playback-based CPM. This hundred and two dollars and thirty cents is that a high CPM? Because I see other people's, and 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 they're much much lower. So I don't know what's going on here. Um, but in March again, in March so far, five nineteen man. Every single month, you guys, it continues to go up, for all the reasons that I said earlier, man. This is the time to go all in. Take your content, take your passion, take whatever the heck you're fired up about, man. And, and start building yourself a tribe. YouTube, this is one income. But as you see in the, in the description, as you see in the description of many, many YouTubers and everyone's video, there's always something else. In the description, there's always a link for something else. You're either an affiliate marketer and you're driving traffic to some affiliate offer or you're building your own products and you're getting people on your opt-in list, whatever it may be, dude, you're providing one, you know, a webinar and you're educating people and you're, you're getting people to, to, to invest in your course, whatever, dude, nine out of 10 times, if that YouTuber knows what the hell they're doing, they're always selling something on the back end, And those links are in the description. So there's many other ways. This is just the ad way, just the ad way alone. It could be an extra income for you and your family, man. When times do get hard and 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 shit hits the fan like we're experiencing right now man in march 2020 so god bless every single one of you man shout out to every single one of you that are subscribed if you haven't subscribed smash the bell for notifications i'm dropping weekly content on social media marketing affiliate marketing and making money online so i've been building an agency around one niche since 2016 that's what this is all about is documenting that journey and 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 now i'm scaling it into a digital course to, to just really hit the market and, and, and help as many people as I can. And I'm doing it all through Facebook advertising, through social media marketing and all the above. So subscribe if you haven't already, man. And shout out to every single one of you. You guys can surpass these numbers. Start putting up videos. In 2019, when I started learning different formulas, it was a video a day for 30 days. I ended up doing it for four months straight. So right now you're catching the last video of a four month blitz in December video every day, January video every day, almost every day in January, February, every day, March, every day. This is the last video of that every day, four month blitz. 
and 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 so that's what happened man my 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 subscribers increased obviously um the income keeps increasing and what i'm going to challenge myself to do is keep that up i want to go for the next nine months i want to go all of 2020 putting up a video every single day for 2020 and that's my whole goal man so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe man smash the bell for notifications and again drop me a comment let me know what type of business you guys are building and let me know how i can bring value to what you got going on all right guys i'll see you on the next one over now